They undefeated. We got six today. We weren't going to have Didi, but he ended up showing up from the Army, so he's going back tomorrow. Uh, we're going to give him the first loss. We're going to give him the first loss. Woo! We're coming out here to play. After all that, it's all fun and games, though. I don't know. I think it's going to be a blowout. <laughs> I think it's going to be a blowout, but they, they're going to give us a little run at first, but they're too small. It's going to be a blowout. <laughs> Three team practices. Right, they had they had a couple team practices to get ready for this one, and it, and it, it don't matter. It's gonna be a blowout. Yeah. Got you. <laughs> oh, you know what it is. Night Owl's gonna get the W tonight. It's gonna be fun though. They got Tail and Sp and uh, Didi over here though, so it's gonna be fun. Look at Tail. He's over here. He's tripping right now. He's tripping. But yeah, we're gonna take the W. It's a good squad over here though, so it should be good. Maybe I'm they trying do, to see but. They're not, they're, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. But I mean, if they, if that's their main goal, they're gonna. It'll, it'll be tough. Like they're a good team. They got good players. They got good defenders. So I know it's gonna be work. I know it's gonna. I'm gonna have to really bring it, but that's what I'm here to do. So. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a shootout tonight. Honestly, you know, I, I think it's gonna be some good defense, but I think it's gonna come down to shooting out. You know, it's going to come down to who can make more threes tonight. That's my take. There you go. All right, the game just started now. Eric Turner. Eric Turner, I ask you a question. You, you're watching these two teams. Uh -huh. You know, you know these. You know, the night hours are undefeated this season. Uh, Four Kobe's been hot the last three weeks. What's your take on this matchup? Well, as long as they stop tail on uh, Four Kobe, they got a dub. Night hours is tough, man. They uh, they defend the ball. People don't understand, man. Defense wins games. So it's like they defend real well, and they actually play together. So like that's what's. I got them winning this game by at least 10 plus. Wow. You heard from Eric Turner here. That's it. He said it. Now, what makes what makes it hard to play against the Night Owls? You've played them already this season. You played them for the past two seasons, uh, past two years, I mean. What is it about the Night Owls this season that might be a little different from the past? Uh, well, they added, they, they added Spencer, man. That's another defender and, and another ball handler. And, um, yeah, man, I just made them more tougher on the defensive end. Like I said, man, I, I just can't preach it enough that people don't understand that defense wins games. Yeah. So it's like, like I said, they D up and they play together. And that's what separates these guys from a lot of teams. They make the extra pass. Look at this. The ball's yeah. just moving. Yeah. And they're going to get a good shot out of it. Yeah. So. Now, you know, the for Kobe, when you just look at the lineup, you know, they're, they seem like a – a bunch of guards with a couple middies and Nate and Costas. What does Nate and Costas bring to this team for Col for Kobe? So Costas is let me out. Uh, he's number twenty two. Number right? seven. Number seven. Number seven. Okay. And and Nate number twenty three. Oh, well, physicality for sure for number seven. Uh -huh. Physicality and uh, I don't. I'm not really sure about Nate. him over there. Yeah. So, but uh, number seven right here brings physicality. He's physical. Uh -huh. So yeah, man. Yep. Now, now you, you you're pointing of course to. To Didi, Didi, this, this is his last game. He's in the military. He's going back to New York, where he's from. Uh, he got lucky that the, he's playing tonight. He did. He did text me the other day, like hoping to be able to play tonight. Just so happened he's able to play. What does Didi bring to this team? Oh man, look at him. He's just, he's, he's, he's just a guard that can handle and, and, and score. Pretty smart. Uh, he's, he's he's feisty. You know, it can shoot. And with Tayo on the team, hey man, all you gotta do is. Make a make a good pass to Tayo and them two them two together, man, can make some noise. Yeah. But like I said, man, Night Owls, world oil machine, man. World oil. Now it doesn't matter who wins this game. The Night Owls got number one seed wrapped up. Now with four Kobe, they're kinda I think fifth and sixth. I was talking to some of the other teams that's gonna be you know the scenario you've been talking about in the group chat, scenario, scenario number one, scenario number two. If if uh, the bench warmers make the playoffs and do what they're supposed to do to get in, um, you will be playing, I guess, the number two seed. If they don't play, you will be, of course, the six seed playing the three seed, and that's um, that's a, a lockup. 
I've talked to both teams. They don't want to face you guys. It's, it's a dangerous scenario playing Tormented Souls, but you know it's tough that you guys are out of town at times. You were playing, you know, your basketball down over, over Vegas, were you? Vegas, Vegas. Yeah. Yep. And, and of course, David out of town, and 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 then the third-headed monster of, of Josiah. Now you're all back. Uh, you guys drop one tonight. Doesn't matter anyway. But you just want to get a little chemistry going for next week. How do you feel next week coming in playoff? Uh, what well, a playoffs, man. It's, it's zero zero when the playoffs come around. So it's like we can't look at the seed, and if we're, if we're the last seed or the first seed, yeah. it's zero zero, man. So. We won it last year, playing great basketball towards the end of the season. So, like I said, man, 0-0. Zero, zero. We're dangerous, but we just got to get stops. Like that's, like, that's our biggest concern right now. We can score with the best of them, but yeah. long as, if we don't play no defense, we can't win. Well, I'm telling you, you will definitely be the talk if you guys defending champs go in 0-6 in regular season and come out and, and pull out another championship. Yes, well, that's the plan, man. That's most definitely the plan. And uh, so that's how I'm going to approach it, man. I'm going I'm I'm to approach it like every game is win or go home like it is and come out here and play hard. Yeah. Now, now I know you, you're busy with your, your pro – Pro team, what were you doing out in Vegas tournament? So I was out there for a TBL and BSL showcase. Um, and I went down there and actually did good. Uh, a couple scouts talked to me, and uh, three TBL teams actually want to sign me. So oh, wow. I went down there and did what I was supposed to do. Now, does that mean you might be out of town or you had to move, or what was the plan? Um, so I, I, I got one from uh, Phoenix uh, down in uh, Tennessee and Florida. So those are all three teams out of state, of course. So if I do sign with one of those, I will be moving for at least eight months. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. Well, you know, you've been here for, for two years. You know, of course, Chris loves you as, as one of the uh, most important players on this team. That will be a, a, a big blow to torment his souls if you do have to move out of town. Uh, but if you do stay here, um, you'll be here all the time? Yes, for sure. I, I continue to play in this league. I love the lead. I love what you're doing, man. And uh, the Lee has most definitely involved like when we first started. Yeah. Uh, I, it was cool, you know, the competition wasn't as great, but now it's like, hey man, the competition, I love it, bro. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, that's true. You know, you know, you got you got a team like the bench warmers come in, you know, and you know how it is. Every those new teams that come in, they got to take some time for them to kind of get that chemistry. But I was kind of talking a little bit on, on the group chat, and and you know, we have the summer league over there at Shoreline, which I'm involved with, of course, with Shoreline. I really wanted to see, you know, maybe some kind of all-star versus all-star thing that would be really cool against the, the top teams of Shoreline. You know those guys at Shoreline. You know the teams. What what would be a good matchup uh, from a team from MUV to play a team from uh, uh, the, the Shoreline uh, Summer League? Well, we'll for sure have to, um, from every team, probably do like a draft thing. You know, like, I, well, pick the best players from every team to go play over there. Mm -hmm. I'm actually in the Shoreline League. Yeah. So it's like uh, – I really think we can go there and compete for sure, man. We got the guys to go do it. Uh -huh. Like I said, this league has involved, man, and um, we can most definitely go in that lead and make some noise for sure. Now, I saw Marvina's team in there the other, this past week. She's got some good players on that team, and you know them all, of course, all from the south side. What, what, is, what are the top three, four guys you can think of top of your head that's really good out of this uh, shoreline league? Well, let me see. You got – I don't know if you know Jaden. Okay. Uh, you got Jaden, you got Jalen, and um, and myself, you know, yeah. so yeah. <laughs> them the top right. three from the shoreline. But like like I said, man, we should really look into that, man, getting us into the uh, shoreline league, you know, yeah, the know. Uh, 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 MUV, yeah. Yeah, get in the shoreline league and go compete. Yeah, I dropped the ball in that. I was just thinking about, you know, shoreline's always, has, shoreline summer league's been around forever, and I kind of wasn't thinking about it, but I was thinking, wait a minute, why, why didn't we have an MUV team in that thing? Yeah. You know, and uh, it was it was actually Seth that, you know, saw the I get the schedule I put out there of, of the shoreline and he quickly called me, try to put his team in, but it was just kind of too late. Yeah. Well yeah, like I said, I, I, I did see Seth uh, he actually wrote me and uh, asked me if I wanted to play, but I told him I was on another team. But yeah. if MUV was to get a team in there, I for sure, for sure yeah. 100, 110 percent yeah. go run with you guys for yeah. sure. Good. Well, I'm thinking you know, there will be a break between the, the summer league and the fall league here. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm saying this for the first time. Maybe we can pull some team from that team. You maybe you might have to do some yeah. recruiting and networking over there. Pull a team or players that would want to come over here 
you know, to get in for free and play against the MUV uh, All-Star team. What do you think? Hell yeah, man. I'm with that for sure. Okay. That'd be good for us. That'd, that'd be good for the MUV League. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, I might have to leave that up to you, uh, my man. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, he'll, he'll, uh, ET will do his thing, make some phone calls and make it happen. Maybe call Marvina. Yes, yes. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yep. Thanks, ET. All Good right. job, man. We'll see you next week. Okay. Uh, ET out of the house right now. And uh, uh, for Kobe, up 22 17. Um, for Kobe, looking pretty good here. It's low scoring. I guess, with 11 minutes and 30 seconds to go. Uh, Hoppa Breed's still in the house. They're, they're here enjoying themselves. They they got a good bond, you know. Uh, they hang out together, we play together, talk together, watch games together. They, they really have a good chemistry with that team, you know. Um, you know, they've, they've, won this, they've won this MUV twice. They've been in the finals four out of the nine times this season's this uh, this league's been around nine seasons, so uh, almost half of the seasons they've been in the finals. The Night Owls, of course, they're they're well oiled, like Eric Turner has said, and uh, they've they've won the they got a championship under their belt. And uh, this is a team that Seth is passionate about. He's uh, put together a solid squad this season. Um, he, he's looking at. Looking to try to get his second championship here in MUV Fitness League out of nine seasons. And they are undefeated this, this season. So, you know, the, them bringing in Spencer has been a key pickup for them. And of this guy right here, a dangerous player, uh, Destin. I mean, every team wants him. He plays both sides. He can shoot from the outside. He inside and I mean mid-range defensively one of the better defenders in this league he doesn't he's he's so crafty and and, and how he's his thought process is defensively I see how he knows how to play certain players a certain way and it, it's it's really cool to see guys that you, you, you move you use your mind and, and really strategies to be able to do what they do here. Antonio kicking it outside to Spencer. Spencer hitting his three. And matter of fact, taking the lead there. 22-23. They're on a 6-0 run right now. And with 10 minutes to go here in the first half, Didi hitting, coming back with a three. Didi taking it. 25-23. Didi's have, having a good time. I mean, that guy, he's a great guy. Fun to watch basketball-wise. You know, it, he's going to be well missed, of course, having to go back to New York, you know, where he's from. But he's he's got, had a great run here at MUV Fitness, uh, originally coming in with his Fab 7 team with a bunch of military buddies of his. That made, uh, uh, made it fun a few seasons ago when he first came in, you know. Um, but now he's he's with a team that really uh, loves what he brings to the to the court. And he's been a, a, a great dynamic duo with Teo, who's got a shot up in the air and making a lot of those. Kyler doing his thing, getting into the middle. Kyler and Nate combination. They, of course, play with each other and a team that used to be called uh, Will Hoop for Food. And that was Kyler's dad, Kerry, a friend of mine that I play in a bunch of three-on-threes with in the old divisions, and uh, which we're planning to do come to layup time, I think, in a couple weeks. But like I said, Nate and Kyler play their three-on-three -three together. They, they've won a championship in the Ever three-on-three, -three, and uh, they're together in this team, on this team here. Oh, what a, it's a foul there on Seth. 27-26, eight minutes and 30 seconds to go in the first half. This game is definitely as advertised. It's tight, game's close, 28-26. Costas getting a chance to push this game to a three-point game here. And he doesn't. And here comes Seth bringing pressure down the left side into the middle. 
Strong layup and no good for Kobe in transition. Gets into the paint. No good. Same missed layup, but a steal. What a shot. No good. They still have it. And no good there by Teo. That was a good look. Good hustle, guys. Um, Teo's missed two in a row now from the three-point land. But I guarantee you this, he'll hit another three sometime in this game. Big shot by Chris, and that's a, that's a dangerous shooter for Night Owls. You know, he's, a, he's definitely an a important piece to the Night Owls. I just look across the board here and how Seth, the, the, the GM, has put this team together. I mean, you got Chris, a, a lengthy lefty shoot outside, rebound. You got Antonio, that's, he can play inside. He, he, you, you can't let him shoot outside wide open. He'll hit it. Spencer, the dynamics he has to be able to go with the speed he has uh, playing both sides of the court. Oh, they're going to go with tail in the corner here. This will be big. Wow. 31-29. Six, six minutes and 40 seconds to go in the first half. Antonio outside, missing it. Corner shot, Kyler, wide open, missing it. Good hustle, guys. Spencer. <laughs> Nate taking an open three outside, no good. Quick shot by Teo. Hitting that three. And, and now 34-29. It's, it's, it's only a five-point game. And of course, with, with six minutes to go in the first half, there's still a lot of fireworks to come along with this. Water, water, water. Corner shot, wide open, Spencer. Okay, there with, 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 a, with a couple missed threes there by Night Owls, poor Kobe can put a dagger in, and he hits it. No call there. 36-29. Quick shot, three. In and out. Antonio getting into the paint. Outside, Chris from the left side. What a move. Thirty-six twenty-nine. Four minutes and fifty seconds running clock. Miss free throw. Free throw no good there, 36-29. Seven point game. <laughs> Kyler spraining his ankle there and still getting the ball in the hole. Quick shot, no good. Tipping it out. Night Owls in control of the ball here. Ball moving around, Chris. Four on one. And here it is, oh, almost threw it away. Four on one. And they get an offensive call. Great play by the Night Owls. A bad decision on, on, on for Kobe. You got to spread that out and get the ball over to the corner ASAP. 
Quick shot, no good. Chris tip in. 38-31, three minutes to go. by Seth to Destin. Cutting the lead to a six point game. Two minutes coming up here in the first half. Didi getting to the corner. Back to the middle. Throws it up, no good. They got the ball back though. Will thinking about it. Oh, easy bucket there. Jerry in the game now. Jerry, a very dangerous player. Um, he knows how to play with this team. Shot good there. 43-37. We got a sprained ankle. We got uh, injury. Forty-five, thirty-seven. One minute to go, and thirteen seconds. And and Jerry just sprained his ankle there. Not sure exactly what happened. Well, you guys have till Monday. If you don't pay, then you are out. If you do, then you're the 16th, which would be uh, two, three, two and seven, three and six, four and five. So it kind of comes down to that. So we have a buy or we pay uh, two men and seven. We'll make it a final four on the matter. But I don't want to. They'll be like, oh man, that's the next year, right? This season, right? And here comes a foul, probably, to stop, stop any chance of scoring, but. And uh, they will be smart to foul to get the clock running. Forty-five, thirty-seven, eight-point game. Four Kobe up. Four Kobe is for real. 
I mean, Anton, I mean, they've been hot for the last three weeks. They're up against the undefeated Night Owls. What more motivation do you need to play well, right? So we'll see what happens here. They're up 45-37. Uh, they, you know, they, they're going to be where they are. Uh, Night Owls are going to be where they are in the playoffs. But it really comes down to bragging rights here. Four Kobe can upset Night Owls and kind of like lock them down for not being an undefeated team. Woo! That's going to be some talk on the group chat. For December, right? Okay. So what's the details on that? So you, um, that would be from when to when? December... Forty-seven, thirty-nine. We have an eight-point game here. Night Owls trying to stay undefeated. You know, it doesn't matter if they lose; they were, are still the number one seed. But of course, they deep down really want to be undefeated and have a perfect season if they can. Forty-nine, thirty-nine. For Kobe. Poor Kobe, man, they they are a tough team. I mean, Didi's uh, uh, just grinding his way for rebounds down low against Seth. Blocking out, getting through the, the gauntlet of defense after the rebound. And look at poor Kobe. Just under 17 minutes, 52-39. Double dribble, as they call it.
Both teams only have six players, so uh, heavy minutes are being played out here. They got to be tired. Fifty-two, thirty-nine. You know, Fort Kobe has really played some good defense to be able to hold the Night Owls to to only thirty-nine points, twenty-five minutes into the game. Um, is the Night Owls missing a lot of shots, or is Fort Kobe playing some really good defense, or a combination of both? Another open look there, and then that Chris makes that one now. So 42, 452, 10 point game. You know, for Kobe, it's really kind of kept this lead throughout the big game here. Oh. Quick shot by Chris again. Hit another one. Now this is getting interesting. 52, 45. Lob over the top. Quick shot, no good. Will outside, hitting that three. 55-45, back to a 10-point game, 13 minutes to go here. And got a good drive and kick, drop off to, actually drop pass to uh, Destin, 55-47. Dee thinking about it. Oh, good defense by Val. Val sticking, sticking to Tail. Tail's gonna, has been having a hard time getting open here. They're throwing a, oh y'all, oh y'all right. You're good? I gotta go ice up, I gotta work. It's just, just a spring though, right? Stay back from that Missed shot there by Tao, 55-47 now. Fifty-five, forty-seven, eight-point game. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Fifty-five, forty-seven, let's go. Fifty-five, forty-seven. Fifty 
55-47, 11 minutes and 20 seconds to go. Chris taking a top of the key three, no good. Ball moving down, Didi. Oh, stolen. And here we come. Big time three by Chris. Now it's a five point game. And here we go for Kobe. Trying to weather the storm here. Oh, misses the layup. Good move by Costas. Big time shot there. Quick shot there by Kale, missing that shot now. So it's all a two point game right now. 10 minutes to go in the game here. And now it's all tied up, just like that. At the 10 minute mark, we got a timeout. 9.54 to go, all tied up. They were down as big as 13, 15 points maybe. And now here they are all tied up. Fifty-seven, fifty-five. Nine minutes, thirty seconds to go here. So we have a foul there, nine minutes to go here, 57-55. Yeah, Jerry went out that door.
57. Will with a nice floater. Taking a three point lead now, 60 to 57. Coming up to the seven minute mark left in this game. with a big three, bumping it up to eight points. This game was all tied up at 55 at one point. Now six minutes coming up. Antonio moving to Braun. Spencer out of bounds. Sixty-eight, fifty-seven. Five and a half minutes to go. This game was tied at the nine fifty mark. Sixty-eight, fifty-seven. You know, the thing is, is that this game is a good game. with this team. Big shot there by Destin. Cutting it down to an eight point game here. Three and a half minutes to go. Quick three. Sixty four seventy for December, right? Okay, so what's the details? Of that? So you, um, 
that will be from when to when, December. Forty-seven, thirty-nine. We have an eight-point game here. Night Owls trying to stay undefeated. You know, it doesn't matter if they lose; they were, are still the number one seed. But of course, they deep down really want to be undefeated and have a perfect season if they can. Forty-nine, thirty-nine for Kobe. Poor Kobe, man, they, they are a tough team. I mean, Didi's uh, uh, just grinding his way for rebounds down low against Seth. Blocking out, getting through the, the gauntlet of defense after the rebound. And look at poor Kobe. Just under 17 minutes, 52-39. Double dribble, as they call it. Teams only have six players, so uh, heavy minutes are being played out here. They got to be tired.
there. 52-39. You know, Fort Kobe has really played some good defense to be able to hold the Night Owls to, to only 39 points 25 minutes into the game. Um, is the Night Owls missing a lot of shots? Or is Fort Kobe playing some really good defense? Or a combination of both? Another open look there. And then that, Chris makes that one now. So 42 for 52, 10 point game. You know, for Kobe, it's really kind of kept this lead throughout the big game here. Oh. Quick shot by Chris again. Hit another one. Now this is getting interesting. 52-45. Lob over the top. Quick shot, no good. Will outside, hitting that three. 55-45, back to a 10-point game, 13 minutes to go here. And got a good drive and kick, drop off to, actually drop pass to uh, Destin, 55-47. DD thinking about it. Oh, good defense by Val. Val sticking, sticking to Tail. Tail's gonna has been having a hard time getting open here. They're throwing a. Oh y'all, oh y'all right. You good? I gotta go ice up. I gotta work. It's just it's just a spring though, right? Miss shot there by Tao, 55-47 now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 55-47, let's go. 55-47. Fifty-five forty-seven. Eleven minutes and twenty seconds to go. Chris taking a top of the key three. No good. Ball moving down. Didi. Oh, stolen. And here we come. A big time three by Chris. Now it's a five-point game, and here we go for Kobe, trying to weather the storm here. Oh, 
Oh, misses the layup. Good move by Costas. Big time shot there. Quick shot there by Teo, missing that shot now. It's all, it's all a two point game right now. 10 minutes to go in the game here. And now it's all tied up, just like that. At the 10 minute mark, we got a timeout. 9.54 to go, all tied up. They were down as big as 13, 15 points maybe. And now here they are all tied up. Fifty-seven, fifty-five. Nine minutes, thirty seconds to go here. So we have a foul there, nine minutes to go here, 57-55. Yeah. Jerry went out that door. Fifty-eight, fifty-seven. Will with a nice floater. Taking a three-point lead now, 60 to 57. Coming up to the seven-minute mark left in this game. 
Costas with a big three, bumping it up to eight points. This game was all tied up at 55 at one point. Now six minutes coming up. Antonio moving to Bronx. Spencer out of bounds. Dagger. We're looking at 68-57. Five and a half minutes to go. This game was tied at the 950 mark. Sixty-eight, fifty-seven. <laughs> I think, I, you know, the thing is, is that this game is a good game. Sixty-eight, fifty-seven. Wow. fun with this team. Big shot there by Destin. Cutting it down to an eight point game here. Three and a half minutes to go. Quick three. Sixty-four seventy. Seventy to sixty-four. Clocks running. Two twenty-five left. These free throws are important. Cut this into a three. Cut this, and it's a three-possession game at this point. Seven points. And he 
misses. Oh, almost a turn. He got it. Antonio, top of the key. Shots going up. No good. Will with a strong rebound. Tail. Hey, they going for it. They going for it. 74-64. The Night Owls undefeated season will be no more. Eight point game, 112 to go. Now, for Kobe has done it, I, I uh, this, uh, this team that three weeks ago really woke up and made a difference, and it's gotta be because of this guy here. 76 to 66. Chris outside, big, nope. And the clock's not, well, the clock will stop. Oh, good there, and offensive rebound, kicks in it. Okay, okay. I'll call, hold, hold off on that. I lost my card. What's that? I lost my card. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, for Kobe, we've got Didi, Teo, Will. Okay, uh, uh, Will, Didi, Will, Didi. Oh, where's the camera? So it's really, so it's really gonna go to first seat. I mean, we lost them by like eight or six. They lost by ten. Why don't we? We have the same record. Well, they beat. They won by ten. No, uh, no, no. They uh, head to head, right? It, it comes to the head to head. Yeah, because we're, we got the same record. What about the points, brother? <laughs> uh, Anton. Hey, Anton, it's good. All right, Will, uh, Didi, <laughs> you guys are the hottest team in the MUV Fitness League in the past three weeks. You did something that, you know, a lot of people was wondering if you could do. You knocked off the undefeated Night Owls, and you, you called it, Will. You said it before the game. Sir you said game. this was going to happen, and it did. Uh, how confident? Why, what was it overall? I believe in my teammates. Uh, we came out here physically focused. We, came, we knew they were going to play. We came the body and body. Uh, we came out, even though they hit a bunch of open threes, we found, the, we found the D to get the turnovers, to score on those turnovers. Yes. Now, it's funny because you guys weren't even supposed to play tonight. You guys already finished the six games. You got to thank uh, uh, Peter and, and, the, and, the, and the, the bench warmers to be able to kind of not be here and you guys take over that spot. Didi, uh, it's funny, you text me, it was earlier today, you're like, hey man, you know, try to get us in, try to get us into play, and I didn't think it was gonna happen, and here you guys are. Uh, this is your last game here, you're gonna be out of town. Yeah. Um, how was it playing in the last game here? Great, you know, I knew, I asked for this game, I asked for this game, I wanted to play him, I knew they was undefeated, I wanted to play him for my last game. And, <laughs> hey, come on, you know, I said we had to come out here and give him a show, come on. Well, and now, uh, forever long you can think about this it's going to come down to people talking about this game and and Didi is going to be the legendary thought process going this guy came out beat the, the the monster team of the Night Owls you guys did your thing uh, I saw the combination between you two guys moving the ball around you guys both hit some big shots you, you played some big defense um, what was what was the toughest of, uh, guy a matchup you had and he's tough, set, tough. What's the guy's name? Shooter. Shooter, definitely. Chris. 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 Man. 
Right? Lights out, yeah. killing us the whole game. You watch it, <laughs> chewing from down on the whole game. Big body too. Well, there was a play I was thinking of. You know, Seth came in on you. You were kind of left on an island. He looked like he had a short little mid midi floater. He misses it. Then your body got in the way of him even getting that rebound. You remember that? And you you, you secured the rebound. Yeah, outlet down the court to a three, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, come on. Yeah. Be strong down there. Got to be yeah. strong, especially small guards. Got to be strong. Yeah. Yeah. Now, well, Will, you have this <laughs> this this thing about you where you guys were up ten. You got the game in hand there's a chance that they could come back and you take this dagger three you didn't have to do it but you just made it and just god that's a dagger yeah um i'm i'm a pure shooter that's the yeah. I've, I've been shooting since high school uh i broke a couple of records at the lake stevens high school i think i still hold today oh, so nice. I, I i shoot shooter's gonna shoot even if i miss i'm 0 for 10 you, you might i might hit the next four you better watch out mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, he, he, the name for Kobe really means something now. Everybody's, everybody knows what for Kobe's all about. You guys are coming in the playoffs, and 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 Didi's not going to be there. You know that, that's that's tough. We did talk about it earlier. You got C Caleb to to come in and take that spot and help out. But man, is there any chance that Didi can uh, you know delay his trip? Can't, can't. I already have my ticket. <laughs> that's up to him. I wish, I wish, I really wish, I really wish, I really wish. Yeah. I already have my ticket though, unfortunately. But he's always welcome back. Yeah. He's always welcome back. He just knows to hit you up, hit me yeah, up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll always have a team. So. Okay. Well, Didi's disappeared before. I had to go, you know, with his, his military stuff. You never know. You might come back again, man. Didi is a pleasure, my man. Thank you, thank you, thank I hope you. you come back, my brother. Thank you, sir. Will. You the guy, man. Good I'll job. Yep, good job. Uh, man, for Kobe doing their thing. Destin, he's going to be back. He'll be back. We'll be back. We'll yes, he'll be back. Uh, the Night Owls, you know, they're still the number one seat. You know, they're just hoping to maybe be undefeated for the season. Uh, maybe this might be a, a blessing in disguise for them. They'll come back stronger. Uh, they do get a bye week. They're the number one seat. So they can rest up for a week and then come back into the Final Four and just now just two games away from a championship for the Night Owls. And uh, for, uh, for, for Kobe, we'll see where they sit for next week's playoffs. But I wouldn't want to play for Kobe. They are a tough team, and uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks to Anton for doing what he does with the cameras. I, I love the videos that he does on the court. All the players appreciate it. He does a great job. That's a lot of walking around to do that stuff. So he puts a lot of work in there. You guys see uh, Anton, uh, let him know how you appreciate him because he does a lot of great stuff in the last two years. He's been doing such great stuff here. I appreciate that. And of course, uh, uh, Peter doing a good job with the, with the, with the books and, and helped out with the, re, uh, with the, uh, 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 the refereeing uh, in the first game. Appreciate that. But let's see. Let's see what happens uh, next week. Who's going to be in the playoffs? Who's not? Stay tuned.